Hello guys welcome to my YouTube channel creativegraphics.com And let's see what I brought for you guys today. Today we are going to make this amazing flip logo animation using Filmora 12, using only these 4 effects. Before going to the video please like, share, subscribe and turn on notifications for my day to day update. Also don't forget to follow my socials. So let's go to the video. Okay guys first you can see I already add my video clip to the timeline. So you can use any car video footage for this. Then I get a copy of this layer and paste it here. Then I hide the bottom layer for now. Okay now we want to cut this logo from this clip. So I use the smart cutout option for this. And go to the AI tools. And select smart cutout. Then draw the selection around the logo. Then start the smart cutout. Okay guys now it looks like this. Then select the point that you need to start your animation. Then select both layers, and split it like this. Then go to few seconds forward, and split again. Then delete the unwanted part in the effect layer. Ok now we want to center this logo. So go to the effect tab, and search camera. Then select this overlay, and add it to the timeline. Then drag your logo into the center. Then delete the camera overlay. After that add the clip range. And export the project. Ok now delete the effect layer, we don't need it again. Then add your exported video to the timeline. Then we need to remove this background area. So I use the smart cutout option again. After that unhide the bottom layer. Then put the logo layer on top of the original footage like this. Ok it looks great, so let's see how to add flip animation to this. So go to the effects tab, and select Boris FX. Then select particle, and select BCC wildcards. Then add it to this layer. Then go to the effect settings. Select array settings, and change both number card values to zero. Then adjust the global scale, similar to the footage logo. Then select wildcard settings. Then change the card preset to one card. Ok now can rotate your logo using these tumble and spin settings. So I make my flip animation like this.
Okay guys now our flip animation looks like this. So let's add some motion blur to this animation. So go to the effects tab, and select blur. Then select BCC fast lens blur. Then add it to this layer. Then go to the effects settings, and adjust the blur amount you like. Okay guys now we wanna hide this logo. So let's see how to do it. Go to the effect tab, then go to the image restoration, and select BCC remover. Then add it to this layer. Then go to the effects settings, and change removal method to auto fill smooth. Then select pixel chooses and mocha setting. Then change this to on, and click launch mocha. Ok now we have a new interface. So let's see how to hide this logo. So first select this pen tool, and draw the selection around the logo. After that, you can adjust the selection like this. Then enable this all motion tracking option. Then click this track button. After complete tracking, enable this surface option. Ok now you have a new selection area and adjust it like this. Also, you can enable the grid to see the angle of the selection area. So after that click this save icon, and closes the window. Ok now you can see our logo was hidden. Also, you can adjust it more using the search radius setting. Ok guys let's add reflection to this animation. So first get the copy of this layer, and paste it top layer. Then hide this layer for now. Ok then select this layer. And select this keyframe. Then go to the BCC wildcards effect settings. And make the reflection effect like this.
Also, add some blur to our reflection, so I use Gaussian blur to this. Make sure to delete the old blur effect. Then adjust the blur settings you like. Then unhide this layer. Ok guys now our animation looks like this. So additionally I add a shake effect for this animation. Also, make sure to add a speed ramp for your animation. So that's it guys, this is the how to make amazing flip logo animation using Filmora 12. I hope this video really helped you a lot. So if you want to learn more like these Filmora tutorials, please like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification for more tutorials like this, and also leave a comment your idea about this video. So see you guys in the next vid. Take care and peace. So don't leave me alone.